We are still alive at episode 75. I couldn't help myself. Welcome to episode 75 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host today. And today we're going to talk about why it all matters. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. And if you didn't hear last week, then we're going to try to introduce more segments into the podcast, help make it flow a little bit better and hopefully bring you a little bit more value um, in it. So we think like segments, more like a show. We haven't seen anybody do anything like it. So we're going to try to do that and we're going to introduce it slowly. Today's moment of clarity is that nobody cares. We spend so much time in our lives on social media and in the real world thinking that many, many, many more eyes are on us or many more people care about what we're doing or things good that have happened to us. And the truth is, most of the time, nobody cares. Hey, it's our 50th anniversary. Guess what? Nobody really cares. Okay, so kind of in that same vein, though, of the moment of clarity, I want to talk about today why it all matters. And I know that can kind of seem like a really existential statement at the outset, but I don't, if you remember, like back in the late nineties, I believe it was, there was this popular self-help book. I'm dating myself a little bit in the late nineties. I had just gotten out of high school, uh, just getting ready to get into school and almost right about to start a business within a few years. But either way, the late nineties, there was a book and it was called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Right? That sounds really nice. Doesn't it? Hey, man, don't sweat the small stuff. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff. Hey, that's a small thing. Don't sweat it. That sounds really good. And it feels like, oh, that would really take a burden off. And it's not that I totally disagree with the premise of the book, because really the book was written to um, help you understand that the little things sometimes dominate your thinking. And it's not good to let little things dominate your thinking. But it has been. You know, my experience that it all matters. It's been my experience that all the little stuff is what builds and builds and builds and adds up to the big stuff. So you really see how this comes into play with this principle of the overnight success. And that is a principle that, you know, you hear all the time. There's no such thing as an overnight success. You know, yet we kind of tend to celebrate these people that pop onto the scene and they make a real big noise like, wow, where did these guys come from? And look, you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? That we're talking about overnight success, like there's no such thing. And there's no such thing because everybody knows, everybody that's done it knows and that's had success knows that in no way, shape or form, Was it because they didn't worry about the little things along the way? They know that it all matters. So people say there's overnight success in business. Garbage. Overnight success in a relationship. Garbage. Um, And overnight success in personal development. Garbage. It's just not true. And so when I say it all matters, you know, every little thing that stacks up equals and begins to build up the sum of the parts, which will lead to, could lead to success. I learned, or I learned, I don't know if I heard this principle before, if he came up with it or not, but a friend of mine, a fitness uh, expert, triathlete, social media uh, influencer, we'll link him up here, Eric Hinman. We had a conversation once and he was talking about how in his travels and you know what he goes for in life is doing all these different things and different experiences he says well it's like i collect dots right and he meant by that he meant like little experiences and when he said that like i realized that that is what i have done over the years and what i continue to do and really that's my mo is that i go and i talk to people and i go to networking events and i try new things and make mistakes and right and all these little experiences all these little things are dots 
that I connect and I start to collect them, right? Like a dot collector. And then at some point, as all the dots are there, some point when they're there, I can start to see the path through the dots. And the dots, a lot of the times, are the little things. It's the little decisions. It's the little experiences. And they add up to something that all of a sudden begins to make sense. Let's talk about business and career. Building a business, growing your career. Let's talk about that. So in when you're growing a business and you're moving forward in a career, or you're make, making professional progress, you have a zillion opportunities to screw someone over. All the time, right? You could lie. You can misrepresent yourself in a job ad. Um, you could withhold information. You could do something crooked. You could escape the law. All types of things you can do. Little things. I mean, some of those were big things like tax evasion. Big thing. The point is that every time you make one of those decisions, every time you decide not to give it 100% and you kind of mail it in, every time that matters. Why? Because that becomes a part of your character. That becomes a part of your momentum and your motion forward. That affects other people. And it doesn't just fall flat and go away. Like the small stuff stays and the small stuff matters. It's almost like money, like where you spend and you, you earn and you spend. And so as you earn those things and you start to do those little things, guess what? Now you have a little relational capital to spend and to invest and improve them, right? And then at some point they invested to improve you. And it, you know, it doesn't always work that way, but that's how it works. The little things add up to the big things. Um, let's see, personal growth. All right, let's, let's talk about personal disciplines for a minute. Because I think this is something that I, I think a lot about, I read a lot about, and I know a lot of the listeners of the podcast and people out there in the business world, in the personal branding world, in the marketing world, right? There's this element of even fitness, right? There's this element of personal betterment, personal growth. And let me ask you a question. Does it matter if you wake up at 6 a.m. or 6.20 a.m.? Does that matter? Well, let me tell you, I'm not saying like one's better than the other. Because I think for some people, waking up at 6 a.m. is the right call because they really need to build discipline in their lives and that's what they need to show it forward. And some people, 6.20, you're like, you know what? I decided to sleep later today, so I'm just going to own that decision. But guess what? That decision does have a consequence. You didn't have more time to spend uh, in the morning. Um, if you decided to wake up at 6 a.m., that has a consequence too. If you apply that time wisely, right? Well, maybe you worked out for half an hour, so you're more fit and you feel better. You have more energy. You make good and bad eating decision. If you eat the bucket of fried chicken, you're going to reap the consequences, right? And if you eat a bucket of fried chicken every night for a week, you're not even going to feel human anymore and you're going to have no energy and you're going to feel terrible, it's just some fried chicken. It doesn't matter. Well, it does. And if you keep doing that, you're going to get heart disease and then you die. Like, okay, so sometimes I can be an idealist. I get that. Sometimes I can be an idealist and say, well, it should always be this way. But, you know, reality sinks in and you realize it can't always be a certain way. But again, I'm going to hang my hat on it. I'm going to hang my hat on it. It does matter. It all matters. Sweat the small stuff pay attention to your pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves the pennies matter you know what i'm saying like it's kind of universal it works and that's it so a lot going on right now as usual but above and beyond all that thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today whether you're driving to work walking the dog working out eating some cereal um whatever it is thank you a lot thank you a lot Check me out on social. I would love to connect and uh, kind of help each other along there. That'd be amazing. Facebook, Instagram. Actually, primarily LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, in that order. But I'm on all of them. But, you know, I only have so much attention and time during the day. That's it. Hope you have an amazing week. Clarity Compressed, episode 75. Still alive. We're going to be a little kitchen. Bye.